boys may, but girls may not. There's been a slogan since eternity. Unwritten laws have gone to pot. And now in our modernity, the broader view with joy rejects the inequality of sex. Lady be bad. Don't go through life waiting about to be somebody's wife. Don't forget you may be left on the shelf. So make a bit of whoopee and enjoy yourself. Men prefer a girl who's just a wee bit naughty, or they should. So if you are, you're married just the same, that's understood. But you'll simply stay at home and help your mother if you're good. Oh, lady be bad. No, sir. That's a dead idea. A part of woman's slavery. So eliminate the gossip fear. Broad minds will praise your bravery. And spite from narrow folk endure. For to the pure, there's nothing pure. Lady be bad, don't go through life Waiting about to be somebody's wife Don't forget you may be left on the shelf So make a bit of whoopee and enjoy yourself Fighting for your honours so old-fashioned by the squall Or if you do lose self-control, there's nothing to appall It's better to have lost and loved than not to lose at all Oh, lady be bad, get a past to think about in later years For what? Well, you may remain a spinster and have to think a lot. But if nothing ever happens to you, what a hope you've got. Oh, lady be bad. Men marry rather late in life today, but when the whim to wed a girl gets hold of them, then innocence is grim. If you've been too good with other chaps, you'll be no good to him. Oh, oh lady be bad. When you're feeling very tempted, well, you should resist a bit, but not too much, or else the tempter probably will flit. No, to get rid of a temptation, you must give in to it. Lady be bad, if you've tired to go out with a man, away you mustn't whittle it. For the bloke who pays the piper ought to call the tune a little bit. There may be chaps around who with these views would be at variance, but I feel a man today prefers a wife with some experience. After all, your future husband to many girls has been courteous, so why the hell should you be, dear, the only one who's virtuous? Don't dream of one who's meant for you, but just get down to realism. Don't waste your life in waiting for the right one. That's idealism. For your neighbours and the priggish folk who live in your vicinity won't admire you any more for considering your affinity. Lady be bad, don't go through life Waiting about to be somebody's wife Don't forget you may be left on the shelf So make a bit of whoopee and enjoy yourself A man takes you places, theatres, dinners, dances Well, it's rare if he doesn't want to kiss you later on And if you dare to accept his hospitality or not That isn't fair Lady be bad. Oh, lady be bad. Envy really is the font of things for which one labors. For whatever you get, you still will want something of your neighbors. Oh, you always want what you have not got. It's a fact. You must believe it. Your happy achieving ambition, rot. And for your tent till you achieve it. Well, then you say you're satisfied, but you're not. Your tension gets much tenser. For you always want what you have not got, unless it's influenza. There's nothing at all to do with what I want to talk about. That is rather about a funny thing that happened to me the other day. I was walking down Piccadilly when suddenly a feminine voice said, Hello, dearie. You're wrong. It was an old nurse of mine. Well, she started with a sort of nurse help when she was about 16 and stayed down until I was 14 with advanced ideas. Then she'd have to go. Have you still got that mole on the back of your leg? She asked. The horror passes by in Piccadilly. I debagged and she told me that I had. Oh, that's a very lucky sign, she added. She was always one to make a mountain out of a mole. Follow the stars, she went on. So I entered the theatrical club where I had a date, some figs, and other fruits, and you know, a the After lunch, I was introduced to a very pretty actress. When I kissed her for a bit, unsuccessfully, she asked me to take her to a swim somewhere. I told her I couldn't, but I got a mole on the back of my leg which I'd forgotten about, and which I didn't want everybody to see. But I understood, to tell me I must be very lucky. And then I began thinking, had I been very lucky? No. From the day I lost my pen knife in cutting a knot out of a tree to finish off the rocking horse, with no older brother the tree's name complete, until the day I began to lose my hair, the mole hadn't worked. I wonder if you, fully equipped men of my own age, you're not so unfortunate are the bold. Her seat, you can continue her pursuit. Hairless, you are hairless. 
two years now, girls in the twenties have called me uncle instead of darling, and men in saloons have called me sir instead of chum. I look too old for the unfair effect to think of me as an eligible young man, too young for him to fear me as a dirty old one. I'm like a worth a bee, just nothing. Because if I read a word, it wouldn't matter. It's all sort of snobbery, you know. I mean, girls are frightened with their friends say, uh, who is the bald-headed old boy you were with last night? If a girl takes my advice about life, she takes it with some other place. Quite the heart hurting. I even fill in football coupons just in order to be able to write down kisses. Oh, what a cruel and horrid fate. Leave me with a naked fate while other men of greater age attention to the young engaged. Exchanging stories with the lads or telling them to undergrad. While I discuss deep shows and cons with masters, doctors, fellows, dons. Older men with all their hair can still attract the sex of fair, while I am with us the truth beneath the cynical eye of you. See what I mean? Fair premiums people talk about me and to me about my cronies instead of my friends. My nurse was wrong. I have no luck. The charm of my spot has come unstuck. Could life for me be violent? I have a youthful heart with an old man's soul. I sit on my chair and on my mill, reading Samson and Delilah. I do hear about the diver at the bottom of the ocean, dressed as all divers should be, you know, with helmets and things on, glass boots, the shoes and things running up. Suddenly he gets the message, come up at once, the ship's sinking. I think that's priceless, honey. Oh, don't you? 